On many modern GM vehicles, they don't use what we would call a brake light switch anymore. It's actually called a brake pedal position sensor. It provides data to multiple modules as to where the brake pedal is, how hard it's being pressed, etc. But once it is replaced, it also needs to be relearned. Now, what you may not know is it needs to be re relearned in two modules. It needs to be relearned in the engine control module and also in the body control module. Now, if you didn't know that, you might get an error, you might get a code, uh, and it won't relearn properly. So let's walk through how we would do this and use Service Resets and Relearns menu to make it easier. All right, so on the Service Resets and Relearns menu, now this is available on Apollo, Triton, Zeus, and Veris Edge tools as long as you have current subscription or software plan. Uh, so what it does is it makes it easier to find the resets and relearns that you may need uh, by having it laid out by job. So we have different uh, systems, we'll come down body, brakes, there we go. So under brakes, we have replace or relearn a brake pedal position sensor. So we'll go in there, and the first thing I'd like to do before we even talk about this is let's see what GM has to say about it. So we can link to our repair information. If you have Shopkey or Mitchell, you can link right to it. It's going to bring in the vehicle. It's going to bring in the actual brake pedal position sensor we're working on, and we'll go to replace. And if we come down here at the bottom, after we replace it, we see we have an after repair information. So we go in there, it gives us calibration criteria. So it says apply the parking brake, ignition on, engine off, place the transmission in park or automatic transmission in neutral for manual. Install a, uh, install a scan tool, clear DTCs, and navigate to the configuration and reset functions for the BCM. Select brake pedal position sensor learn and follow the directions. Navigate to also the ECM and then go to the learn functions and then go brake pedal position sensor there as well. So reading this, we know that we need to go into the BCM and the ECM separately. So in order to do it the way that GM describes it, I would need to go in first, well, let's go into engine and then functional tests. And then it's under output controls. I would need to know that as well. And then come down here and we see the BPP sensor learn. So we'd be able to connect to that. Then we'll back up. And we'll find the body control module, which is right here. Need to choose what package it has. Then we'll go into functional tests again, output controls again, and then find the brake pedal position sensor learn there. Now that'll take a little bit of time. And like I said, if you didn't know you needed to do that, well, maybe you'd put it in uh, one module and not the other. So instead, we can go back to our main menu. So by using the Service Resets and Relearns menu, it's going to make it a lot simpler because it's going to bring it all on one screen for us. So if I go into Service Resets, scroll down to find the job I did, which would be under Brakes for Replace Relearn Brake Pedal Position Sensor. And then we see Functional Resets and Calibrations. What it's going to do is it's going to look into the Engine Control Module and the Body Control Module and then find both of those resets and put them on one screen. So I could simply go into there, reset it, go to there, reset it, and I'm done. Saves a ton of time by using that service resets menu.